Hello and welcome. This is a video on Winix Gateway and Winix Workstation. You need the two and you can download them from here. Winix homepage which is a very good uh, it's a welcome page and it is where you very good on privacy you basically download the uh, do it type in Linux and basically it's a very good operating system that comes built in with the Tor browser to give you that extra layer of privacy so you need these two components workstation and uh, gateway for it to work and um, you just download the file and uh, run it in VirtualBox so th <coughs> this is actually running in VirtualBox you import the, the um, OVA file which is downloaded from the Linux website if I can let me just reduce the settings for the uh, for this website, maybe speed things up because I put it on uh, very, very safest, the security level is standard. Not doing it now. Come on. So, really, it's um, Um, the browser Firefox, maybe that will speed things up. So I'm running that in a virtual machine, but I'll open uh, the Firefox browser on my desktop to speed things up. So you just type in uh, Linux and um, that's where you get it from. And that's the uh, beast. And uh, you can download Wiki, free FAQ, security features, all about it. And it's really a software that can anonymize everything you do online. And it's really free to run on Windows, Linux, Mac, Cubes, etc. And on the USB. Um, I've got Tails on a USB, uh, which is basically. Uh, similar thing all in one uh, so both and uh, Tails is very good and uh, but it doesn't store anything and you just run it off uh, the USB itself so as you close the session it uh, wipes everything clear to how it was so nothing stays on wherever so you can go around even in an infected malware I've been told to run it off there, uh, but if you create in Tails a um, protective area where you can store a document that you've downloaded, that works okay. So, more about that later. But this is uh, Linux, so you just basically click on the download. I got Lin Linux, you just click on there, and then it goes. You just do this on Linux 3. Um, and as you can see it comes up so basically it runs inside a virtual box which you can get uh, on uh, from the internet but for the Mac I found that even the new s version 7 uh, this is running in vir virtual box 6 point the, the last latest stable release uh, which is fine because uh, newer machines like the Apple M M1 won't allow you to run for some reason so you can YouTube that uh, that's basically you just download it it downloads an over file so if I click on that uh, click on this download link uh, from here and uh, it downloads an over file is Windows, if you want Windows, you want Mac, and if I hover over it, you can 
see at the bottom it says uh, Vinix XV FCE 16.0.8.2. Ova. Ova is the last uh, part of the format, and that's what you import into um, into VirtualBox, and then it uh, creates two layers. One is the gateway, and second is the workstation. Uh, which is this one you run the gateway update that and change the default password and it's explained all in the settings and there's a YouTube video that tells you how to use Tor in this fashion in a virtual box uh, so once you've updated it you can change the password which is basically change me and username is user and you have to use sudo commands to change the password once you've updated it then you can do the same with the workstation uh, update that using the sudo command up add, up get update upgrade etc and then you change the password and then you're in there so this is Tor running in the workstation and you've got uh, from there, the, the applications recently open because I was doing this. You can clear it, clear it, clear it from here. There is a way of clearing it. I don't know how I did that before. Uh, oops. Okay, no mind. And there's the applications, uh, all of them. And it's all on the website as well, there's a forum, uh, usual door, and the most important thing is the door is built in, um, which encrypts your data through different layers and hide your IP. But whatever you do when you're surfing, do not use to log in to your like Facebook or whatever with your login details because if it's outside the tour and it goes to a non HTTP site it can compromise your security because that it can be tracked back for some reason yeah, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on it uh, so yeah that's basically it and um, you got uh, file manager and basically just shows your desktop downloads and pictures it's your desktop trash computer uh, and and so on and so forth and then you go all the virtual box this is virtual box settings and I'm using virtual box 6.1 which is what it's housed in and yeah then you you just change the settings for security level to make it run faster you do the set standard which is most features are enabled but if you use the safer one it disables dangerous sites lose functionality if you use the safest which is what you're supposed to do it kills all the javascripts so yes all the javascripts disabled but then if you want to play media um, then you can't like if you go to YouTube you can't um, do that basically it just has this built-in new script which if you went on on this site is all right so if you went on a Google site for example uh, you can see it uh, I've got it on the standard setting here and the add-ins are done from here and there's HTTP everywhere it's sort of a Firefox engine at the back which is where the plugins come from and this is already built in and you can disable it from there and uh, these are enabled and then to put them up here you can if they're not already put up there you can go to your more tools custom toolbar drag them from here into on the toolbar and the home button I've already done that so that's 
this or like that there from here you just drag it over and then there's no script and any other add-ons you have they come up either here if, if they're here then you can drag them into there if they're not already on a custom toolbar yeah so that's how it works you can disable it to get rid of it if you don't want it and BBC pages just appeared um, so this is on standard it'll load everything you can see the menu bar uh, yeah and then media bits so if I now change the security setting to safer uh, it'll reduce some of them okay there you go some of them there and then if I change it to highest uh, all the JavaScript's gone and then it, it does take a little while to load on the menu's gone because that uses scripts and you can see how many scripts it blocks there's seven it says seven there but I don't know if it's showing just three you can temporarily disable them from here if you trust it you can then click on temporary trust it but these are where the scripts come from these domains which are part of BBC I'll, I'll just change it to safer because I'm just going to basically surf uh, normal and the worst culprit is Google and there are other sites like Reddit I've gone there uh, you can have a tracker plugin and it'll tick to say that's a trusted source because this is from anywhere in the world so this is Apple you have to make sure these are okay if you don't use your login details it doesn't matter you can surf away but if you open say this one Reddit uh, on a safer setting uh, it'll show it like that there's any media you may have to click on the media to make that work so uh, let's go to safer oh, the safest okay now it's the shielded uh, but the, the scripts are gone Just slow it down as well a little bit. Um, yeah, see. And it says onion services are available. What that means is um, not now because what it does and Tails does this as well. You can have an onion link which is a safe, safer site, but a private and secure version of it, as it says here which is quite a good idea so if I say uh, always prioritize this to that it will tell you from here onion services saves keys um, yeah but uh, for now I won't do it I'm going to yeah there it is that's the onion version and there's a link that's an onion link which is hide your IP so you don't know where it's coming from but you've got the media there and it's on the safest settings so that's how you go and surf away um, without any problems um, just testing this video I'm going to close it and save it and see what happens when you shut down you just shut down the workstation and then the gateway and then you get back to So that's your virtual box, they're both running. And just the, the default settings, don't change them. Uh, but if you find it slower, then you can increase the, um, from the settings, you can increase, uh, you know, the memory, etc., and storage. So for Gateway, it's using that much base memory, and for the workstation, it's a little bit more. Um, yeah. 
quite like it, really. And this is Phoenix with built-in Tor with two components because it isolates the workstation from the gateway. So chances of your privacy being intact is high. And Tails does it. This will keep everything uh, that you download it, whereas the Tails, um, let's go back to Tails. In a private outside the box, so if I do tails, that's good as well. That's the one, and basically runs over USB. And they use is free software. And what does it say in terms of your secure code? Anyway, so you can take the USB with you with a separate part which has your documents for example which is encrypted so you have to enter your password to open to view them so that is a good thing about this software but it doesn't keep everything so when you shut down the computer it it kills everything you've done changes up to how it was like it makes it virgin again um, and the requirements how much you need quite good uh, it's it's called amnesia. It forgets everything. Everything this you do disappears automatically as you shut down. So that's the difference. But it's a good thing to have both of them. And this is good if you want to take it away with you without fear of having you know you could put plug it in enemy machine a cafe when you're on holiday. Then you don't have to worry about you can take your documents with you, but because you've got that protected password it within a protected area you need to unlock that and there's also a built-in Vera lock in there Vera crypt rather which you can use and can create private stored encrypted containers that's a good one so have a look at that and I hope you like the video and I hope it's not too, been too long and I'm going to save it now thanks for watching bye for now